Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Novita and today we are going to make lapet gabur gabur. Now, lapet gabur gabur is one of traditional dessert from my hometown which is North Sumatra. Now, if you would like to know how we make lapet gabur gabur, stay tuned. Today, I'm going to make two kinds of lapet. One with white sugar and the other one is with palm sugar. Now, I have divided my rice flour, which is the main ingredients to make lapet. And the next ingredients, we have some fresh coconut, crushed or shredded. I just bought it from the shop like this, so I don't have to shred it by myself. And then I have sugar palm sugar and salt and of course we're going to use some banana leaf now I have shown you all the ingredients let me show you the process to make lapet first thing we need to do is soften the banana leaf we're going to use a stove heat hold and move the leaf as shown in the video until it's shining this process will make the banana leaf more flexible when we fold it. Next, we're going to trim the leaf using a scissors. Cut the hard edges in the end of the other side of the leaf and then we're going to size the leaf about 25 centimeters length and 17 centimeters wide but then again it will be depends on how big the lapet you want it to be Now I'm going to slice some of this palm sugar and we're ready to mix our ingredients. Now it's time to get our hands dirty. Pour shredded coconut into rice flour with one to one ratio, then add sugar and salt as your preference. Mix them until well combined. Same with the brown sugar, mix them all together and always add the sugar and the salt as your preference.
Now we've come to the fun part. Fold the banana leaf until it forms a cone shape. Hold it open in one hand and stuff it with the mixture. Pushing it right down to form a point, this will make an attractive shape when it has cooked. Then fold the leaf to form a pyramid and carefully tuck in the ends. You might feel intimidating at the beginning, but trust me, as soon as you get one and two right, you'll be good to go. We are going to do exactly the same with the brown sugar mixture. I'm about to show you a traditional way shaping the mixture without banana leaf. This is very basic, but we use this all the time back in my hometown if you don't have the leaf. So you're gonna grab the mixture in your hands and press it, shape it using your fingers. You might think this is a little bit strange, but trust me, this works just fine. I'm going to continue until I finish all my mixture and after that I'm going to place all of this in my preheated steamer and steam it for about 30 to 40 minutes and I will show you how it looks like when it's cooked.
This is how it looks like when it's cooked. I can't wait to eat this. I will normally enjoy this with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. And the palm sugar lappet looks like this. I might have accidentally put too much sugar, but hey, there's never too much for a dessert. We're going to try the lapet, but first, I will get my daughter to join with us because she's been complaining for a while since I started this cooking. Hi guys, we're back. Now we have the cooked lapet gabur gabur and we're ready to eat it. You ready, Baba? I go first. This is her first time eating lapet, so what do you think? Is it yummy? That's a yes. So I hope you like this video and don't forget to try this recipe at home. I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.